Good day, good evening. Thank you for joining us. Jeff and Jaron Thompson here and welcome to Stability and Simplicity. Our little advertisement first. For all things Jeff and Jaron, please visit us at jeffandjaron.com. Hit our YouTube links. Mm -hmm. Like us on Facebook. Uh, thank you all for joining with us. Those of you who are regulars with us, we bless you for taking care of business in that area. And any new people. <clears throat> any new people. Thank you for your recommendations, guys. Mm -hmm. So, it's been a pretty tumultuous time, not only here in the States, but also globally. There's so much going on. We've got the election circus going on in Washington, D.C. We've got lockdowns globally. We've got powers that be saying one thing, doing another. I mean, this is nothing new mm -hmm. or really out of the norm. It's just that it seems like it's really been ratcheted down a lot. And we feel bad for people who are not free to move about Hallelujah, here in what we like to call Freedom, Oklahoma, mm -hmm. we haven't been as restricted, and we praise God for our governor and for our local authority. <clears throat> We'd like to speak to you about, even though everything is going on and everything that's happening, do not look back. Do not look back at what might have been or, or what was. Or, or try to even figure things out. Right. You know, we hear in the Exodus story, were the children of Israel, 400 plus years of bondage and slavery to their masters. And when they left Egypt, it was celebration. It was, hey, hey, you know, yeah, freedom, freedom. But then once things got a little bit tough, it was, Moses, did you bring us out here to eat out of Egypt, the to land die. that we love so that we could die? Oh, to have the pots of soup. And, you know, that'd be like somebody from... North Korea being freed to South Korea. And if it got a little tough for them, they'd say, man, I miss picking grass and eating grass soup. Number one, they wouldn't say that because they'd be happy to be out of that regime. But also, here it was, their best days, their best times generation, generationally were ahead of them. And it was, mm, I'm thirsty, I'm hungry. But God said, God promised. And so, in looking back, if it was good enough for you to stay there, he'd probably still be there. But God has transitions for us all. But that goes back to sometimes we, when we actually get the things that we're believing for for so long, when you haven't done the preparation, mm -hmm. that the journey will eat your lunch. Yeah. And they had a while to prepare because Moses had spoke to Pharaoh. Yeah. And so this, this whole, what we're spending a few minutes on today is how just to keep your eyes forward. Yeah. Uh, first scripture reference, Proverbs chapter four, verse 25. Let your eyes look directly forward mm -hmm. and your gaze straight before you. In other words, stay focused. You know, we hear that, we hear the sayings and, and they're good, you know, stay the course, stay in the fight and, and rightfully so. And we should. And, if God has given us a promise, it doesn't matter who's in office. It doesn't matter what policies are being, mm -hmm. being placed out before us. Remember, Jesus came to Israel under Roman occupation. And they, again, and many of you heard us say this, but they rocked the world on its ear. Jesus' ministry was roughly three and a half years, the 50 days leading up to the day of Pentecost. And on the day of Pentecost, over 3,000 were saved. and Then it began. Oh, yeah. Then it began. Well, they went under persecution. Yeah, they did. And many gave their lives for it. The story of Stephen is one of such inspiration, whereas living, living a godly life, he told the religious leaders of that day, you are the ones who crucified him. You are the ones who did this. And he gave an entire history of the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm and gave those examples. They got so angry they had him stoned. But the love of God through Jesus Christ came out through Stephen when he said, I see the Son of Man standing next to the Father. And I can only, I can only imagine that what the Jesus Stephen was seeing was holding his arms open and saying, come on, come on. But the last thing Stephen said was, Father, don't hold this to their charge. 
and the love of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Was there violence? Oh, yes and amen, there was violence. But he still, he did what he needed to do. Mm -hmm. and, and we are all going to do what we need to do. Some scriptures to encourage us all. Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Christ Jesus. Some will argue, well, that's for when the Lord comes to set up the kingdom rule. Yes, but also the day of the Lord is now. The day of the Lord mm -hmm. is living in the time of what we commonly call the church age. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. That's for now. Yeah. So, well, man, you know, I get tired and all that. Yes. Yes, we do. In in First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 11, seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his presence continually. Mm -hmm. uh, the writer of Hebrews tells us in Hebrews 10, 36, for you have need in, in endurance, so, so that when you have done the will of God, you may receive what has been promised. Again, God has promised us all something. He has said different things to, to each one of us. Remember, we're all part of one body. We're all different members. Mm -hmm. Each member has his, own, has his own work to do. Same as a word of prophecy, as was reiterated again, by Pastor Craig Cooney in Northern Ireland, we all prophesy in part. We can't take one word of the prophetic and say, this is it, this is the one. This, this is, is what one. it's going to look like, and this is how it's going to work out. this is how it's all going to play out. That's putting a prophecy above God. Exactly. It's not keeping God, the King of kings and Lord of lords, in your life. It's putting the prophecy Amen. In, in that stead. And that's where we just have to walk with very with due diligence and intentionality to not worship the Word, but to worship God. Yeah. And Jesus also said in Luke chapter 9, verse 62, No one puts his hand to the plow and looks back. Nobody who does that is fit for the kingdom of God. So again, keep our gaze forward. Keep our mm -hmm. eyes forward. And, and where do our eyes need to be looking? At Him. Yes. Simply at Him. Yes. Because... We can look at the prize, and that's okay to look at it to remind us of why mm -hmm. we're doing it. But our strength comes from Him. Yes. Our energy comes from Him. Our yes. focus comes from Him. Our encouragement comes mm -hmm. from Him. And understand, there's a lot of people who are down, who are, mm -hmm. are battling depression because of isolation. And, and I fully understand that. But also, stay in the Word. Get in the Word. Utilize every avenue that you can to stay into community. Mm -hmm. Because even though we may not all agree, we are all serving the kingdom of God. And like you said, we all are different body parts. Mm -hmm. You have to see things the way God created you to see things. If you're putting Him first, then you're doing what He's called you to do. But don't discount what somebody else is doing because right. that's what God's called them to do. But if we all stay in community and unity together, then mm -hmm. we're the body of Christ. Yeah. We've, uh, we've discovered and learned a lot in life that God will keep us busy over here while He's taking care of our business mm -hmm. over here. That way it keeps us from getting too focused on, on what He's promised us. So God will say, you know what? Look here for just a little while. And, uh, mm -hmm. Look here. And it's not that He's dangling a carrot or baiting us because... At the same time, God's trying to keep us out of our own way. But even that looky here over here is a lesson. It's a it's part of your journey that's going to help make you who He's called you to be. Mm -hmm. So that when what He's working on for you is complete and ready for you and you're ready for it, it won't destroy you, but it will be everything that God has promised you to Amen. be. Amen. Um, reading this morning even in just the book of Deuteronomy about how even... Even uh, Moses told the children of Israel, look, I've seen the pattern. I know as soon as I die, you're going to forsake God, but I'm begging you not to. Mm -hmm. And there's been a pattern all throughout history. And all we're saying is keep your eyes forward. Keep your eyes Stay on focused. God. Yeah. If Paul tells Timothy in 1 Timothy 6, 12, 
fight the good fight of faith. Mm -hmm. And we quote that and we love to talk about putting on the armor of God. Well, let's put it on. Mm -hmm. Let's carry the sword of the spirit, which is the word. Keep that sword sharp all the time. It's a double edge and it's one of the most powerful weapons we have. Philippians 4.13, we love to quote this one. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I've heard some pastors and teachers say that doesn't mean you can do anything. If God said so, yeah, I can. That's With long life, He mm-hmm. satisfies me. You got it. And according to Psalm 92, I'll still be fat and flourishing in my old age. I will still be fruitful. Mm-hmm. doesn't mean I'm going to be a slug sitting around. It just means I'm still going to be productive mm-hmm. even in my good old age. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. And let us not grow weary in doing good. Mm-hmm. For in due season, we will reap if we do not give up. Amen. So that's that's staying focused. And, you know, we will face opposition. We will face naysayers. We will face people that will try to keep us down or say things like, well, what makes you so special? Well, number one, I'm a son of God, daughter of God. That makes us all special because we're God's offspring. But I've I found this quote from American author and poet Ralph Waldo Emerson to be so intriguing. And we kind of live by it, but yet we've got to make sure that we keep self out Mm -hmm. of it. But Ralph Waldo Emerson said, If you know you are right, stay the course even though the whole world seems against you and everyone you know questions your judgment. When you prevail, and you eventually will if you stick to the job, they will all tell you that they knew all along you could do it. <laughs> and yeah. These are our flip-floppers of, uh, well, whose side you on? I don't know who's winning. And, the, and we're going to face people like this all the time. And that's, you know, that's okay. We just want to encourage you today, just like a phenomenal workhorse, you put blinders on it to keep it focused. The Word of God are your blinders. And if you will spend time in the Word of God, if you will spend time... Um, putting the blinders, the filters of the Word of God on so that you don't, we call it squirreling, so that you don't, oh, <laughs> something shiny, oh, squirrel, and you don't get, dis- yeah, <laughs> so you don't get distracted, so you don't get swayed from the course that God has called you to, because our allegiance is, is, is to God, the King of kings and Lord of lords of our life. It is not what is going on around us, but we are to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Mm -hmm. And it's that, it's just that constant tension that you have to manage in your life of staying informed as much as God tells you to, but while not getting consumed by the information that He's telling you to, to, to take in. And I know for us, it's been turn off the TV, here's how I want you to gain information. Um, but balance it with you spend, you know, with my word. And he's given us just a list of things personally mm-hmm. of how we are to, to walk out the days that we're in right now. So I'd encourage you, if you are having a hard time sticking to the course, if you're having a hard time even knowing what the course is, that you can reach out to us. Yeah. And be careful what voices you listen yes. to. If you're listening to the talking heads on television, I recommend that you turn them off because... And this is not any type of anything other than turn them off. Well, watch what you let become your God. Mm-hmm. Because you can let information and getting information become your God. And that's not the heart of the Father. The Father wants you to be informed um, because without knowledge, his people perish. Mm-hmm. But yet you can't be consumed by the information. Yeah. Above all, you are consumed with the Word of God. That's what you pledge your allegiance to is Him and Him alone. Yeah. And we want to leave you with this. I love this by Sir Winston Churchill about, about staying focused, keeping your eyes forward, staying your course. Mm-hmm. You will never reach your destination if you stop and throw stones at every dog that barks. Don't get distracted. <laughs> In other words, if, if, if somebody or something is coming out against you, so what? You have the authority of Jesus Christ in you. And we don't argue with no. with things we don't have conversations with demons or try to identify you know well the the sink backed up what there's a there's a plumbing demon in the line no the sink backed up because the line's clogged okie dokie and you just keep going with that and i don't know who said this but i love this stay the course keep believing you may be tired discouraged and frustrated but don't give up on your future for our god is faithful 
Amen. So, Father, in Jesus' mm -hmm. name, we thank you for everybody who's watching, and we thank you for all those who, mm -hmm. who are strengthened by you, who will not give up. And Lord, we bless you. Mm -hmm. We bless you that we mm -hmm. are your own. Yes. We thank you for not only the blood of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. but the fire of Jesus Christ flowing within us. Yes. And to that we say, Alleluia, Amen. Many blessings, y'all. And may the Spirit of the Lord guide yes. you in all things. And may His peace yes. overflow. And may His prosperity not only come to you, but abound and overtake you so that you yes. are blessed to be a blessing and that your everyday blessing can be somebody's miracle. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you. Blessings.